Hey guys, Chris Robert here. For those who have come to love the reliability and simplicity of the V-Control Radio and the V-Bar Neo, you're going to love a new product that Mercado's released this week. It's the V-Bar Neo V-Basic Receiver. So basically what it is, is it's a 9-channel receiver without the built-in gyros. You still have all the software options from V-Plane to V-Copter, even to the helicopter. So what this is, is it's, it's your basic receiver without gyros. Um, it has built-in crossover buddy box options, so you can buddy box with other V-Control radios as well as other radio brands on the market. It has built-in mixes, 7-point throttle curves, 9-channel output. Um, it has, has a step-down relays for flaps, retracts. Um, what's cool about this is you can use it for any RC model out on the market. You can use it for planes and jets with the V-Plane software. You can use it in your race quads. Uh, it's got the V-Copter software, you can use it in boats, you can use it in cars, and even helicopters. Now, you're asking how can you use it in a helicopter without it built in gyros? This has a single line output option. That means you can use an external gyro with this, or you can use other fly wireless brands out on the market. Still get to fly with the V-Control radio, still get to fly with your Neo as a receiver, but you get to use other fly wireless systems as your gyro option. So in this video, I kind of just want to cover what's in the box, registration, and loading apps. All right, guys, let's go through what's in the box of the V-Bar Neo V-Basic. So you open the box, you got the V-Bar Basic. Uh, you're normally in its own wrapper. I open it up for the video. It's got your bind plug in there. You got your USB cord to connect to the computer. Your double-sided mounting tape to mount it to the model. As well as the V-Bar Neo Quick Start Guide. In here, it talks about all the features of the V-Basic, as well as how to go through uh, basic setup and startup. So in this video, we're going to go through registration and loading some apps. Okay, so the first part of registering your new V-Control Neo is you're going to want to log into your vstabi.info account. Make sure you have an account set up. Also make sure you download any of the Neo drivers that you're going to need to run the program. Once you're logged in, you can minimize this screen, open the V-Bar Control Manager. Once that pops up, we're going to power the Neo with the bind plug-in. It's going to go through registration uh, setup and also look for any updates. So we're going to power on the Neo and let it do its update. Uh, when it's done, you'll get a green check mark that everything's been updated. Okay, now that it's all updated, this is where you want to have your VStabi account open so that when you open applications, it automatically goes to the applications and the registration process. So we hit applications, let it load. All right, so this is where we're going to register it. So we're going to click register here. Yes, it's my registration info. All right, so we have the vBasic receiver with vLeak extension. So this is where we do all our app loading. You've got vBar Professional v, uh, 6.2, Rescue 6.2, vCopter, vCopter Professional, and vPlane software. So this is where you can buy these extensions for these apps. Okay guys, before we go any farther, we're going to want to update our V-Control radio. So open the control manager. Turn on your radio. Let it sync up. Do any updates it needs to do. All right, now that it's updated, gone through all its checks, we're going to open Applications. Still logged into our vstabi.info account. All 
All right, we're gonna slide down here, and you are going to want to load the app for the VBasic Express receiver without gyros. So we're gonna click load app, let it update. Down here you can see the radios updating itself. All right, we can close the V-Bar Manager. We now have the V-Basic selected on our radio. We can bind up the Neo to the radio. All right, now that we got the V-Basic software loaded up on our V-Control radio, you can fire up the Neo, let it connect. Bind it if you haven't done so already, and you're ready to set up a basic RC car, boat, plane, or jet. If you want the advanced features with a setup wizard, you can buy the V Copter software, V Plane software, and V Heli software if you want the more advanced features. Okay, so let's just jump through some of the basic menus here. Um, you've got your rates, expo offsets, and agility for your aileron, elevator, tail throttle trim if you go down here to model setup create receiver this is where you're going to tell if it's an analog nine channel receiver which you can use in any plane uh, jet boat car you can set it up for single line if you're going to use an external gyro like an icon or another fly barless system you can select plane or delta wing so we're going to load the values There it goes, it tells you what channels to assign everything to. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, there will be some more videos to come. I'll do a basic walkthrough setup with my Twisted Hobbies Velocity, which is my 3D Foamy as well as some flying videos. Hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.